Hello everyone, what's up? Welcome back to Southfield's Grand Theft Auto 3 100% guided walkthrough. So this one I thought was going to kind of just be like an off video type of thing, like maybe not even numbered, but then I realized, you know what, there is something we're going to be doing with this in the end. So yes, it has to be part of the numbering system for uh, this playlist. So at the end of uh, Arm Shortage, like I said, there is this rhino here that with the locked doors, uh, you know, it seems at first that we cannot obtain it. However, there is a pretty interesting strategy to obtain this right, uh, Rhino in order to get it. Uh, you know, obtain, get it, same thing. Anyway, so what it is, is as you can see, it can be pushed from behind very easily. So what we are going to do with this is actually just kind of try to push it. This is going to be an, a really annoying uh, way to obtain the Rhino, you know, early on in the game or early-ish, I guess. Uh, now... If you don't have the patience for this, I completely understand. You can always wait until we open up Shoreside Vale and, uh, you know, get that six-star wanted level to, uh, uh, or get the army on us. Uh, so this is what we're going to have to do. We're going to be pushing this rhino from the back and, of course, making adjustments here and there to turn it um, all the way to our safe house. Yes, it is going to be quite a trip. And as you can see, there is this kind of really annoying thing. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to take out this cartel cruiser because apparently it's blocking this path and again just keep nudging it turning it making it go you know i'm going to actually see if this uh barracks ol will work with uh pushing it now as you can see though with the barracks ol though um the back is a little different it's actually a covered back uh sometimes it'll be covered covered sometimes it will not you know either way it's barracks ol but i as you notice it really does not work with pushing it uh, so we gonna have to do it ourselves, and yep, I'm actually going to be uh, cutting a lot of this out. There we go, just kind of inching it forward, keep on making it go, turning it when needed, and of course up the ramps. You see, uh, there is spots where he'll lock on. So if you get right in the center, then once you get up to this road, what you want to do? Oh, hey, look, there's a coach. <laughs> uh, is uh, turn it right. Because, I mean, you could turn it left, but you know, you'll have to be going through the uh, cartel area and they will gun you down and kill you very quickly. So we're going to make a right to try to skip all that part. Uh, and you have to push it forward. Here we go. And now when we get to this next intersection, we're going to have to turn it to the left. And at least with this one, though, we're going to be just pushing it straight ahead all the way to the end. And I think what's making it difficult is this uh, cab here that's kind of pushing against it. You know, just push it forward. Oh, and there's a police car there too, but of course, since we're not in the vehicle, it's not going to give us a wanted level. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I am a lunatic for doing this, but you know what? It is a way to obtain the Rhino. So there we go. Now, okay, yep, just adjusting it. Making little adjustments here and there as we push it all the way forward here to the end. And then over here, as you see, you go a little bit to the right, it kind of makes a turn, but it's more of a wider arc. So if you want the tighter turn, just as always, go to either side and turn it, obviously make it to the left. And sometimes it's gonna kind of be weird, but you do definitely want to make sure that you have the infinite sprint ability unlocked from the paramedic mission to uh, make this vehicle, or in order to keep on running into the vehicle, it'd be so much easier. I mean, if you're just walking, I don't think it'll actually make a, push the vehicle up it's just kind of normally running without sprinting now of course here is the heel which is going to kind of slow this thing down like i said it does take quite a while but once you get up to the top you know you're almost you're in the home stretch now uh almost there again just uh, push it push it push it there we go <laughs> like that's a lot to do with just having patience and there we go. Once you get there, it'll hopefully ro roll down all the way here to the end. Now, do know that this uh, tank right now is not explosion proof. So if you bump, make it bump into too many things, it can actually catch fire and explode. But it shouldn't be too much of an issue here with that. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, actually take my barracks OL, which is the uh, bulletproof one that we obtained from the last video, the arm shortage. So this is my boot bulletproof barracks OL vehicle. I'm just gonna kind of try to bring it over here to the uh, right. And 
hopefully be able to bring in the uh, tank here into the left side. Let's just kind of aim over the camera, hopefully be able to lock on and yep. Yeah. So here this is, I'm just had to pull this out a little bit. Yeah, it's a very annoying thing to do. I, I pulled out the barracks OL though, just to kind of keep the garage door open. And yeah, okay, so yeah, so we went continue pushing this in. Oh, nope, nope, there we go. All right, and the tank is in the garage. Fantastic, so now I'm gonna get into the barracks OL, pull this out to allow the, er, okay, there we go. Well, so I'm trying to make it to where I can get both in. Uh, obviously, that's not gonna work just yet, so, you know, I am gonna go ahead and just pull it all the way out then, just let it uh, close out. But I don't think it's going to do it because this truck's so long. And of course, be very careful that you don't make the truck explode because it is not explosion proof, but it is bulletproof. So now that the garage is closed, that should be it for the Rhino. And we should be able to get in. Oh, nope, the other side, I guess. Too tight. <laughs> and there we go. We have an unlocked Rhino. And now that we have it in our garage uh, and we have it all going, you can do what you want with it. And now it is no longer. Um, you know, susceptible to explosions and all that stuff. All right, quick break from that. Now, this is a strategy that I actually read up on after I did all that work. What you can actually do is push the Rhino to uh, the side of one of those red container crates and then just uh, drive the barracks OL up to the other side of it so Claude will not be able to get into any of the doors. And then press the, like, triangle button and Claude will actually teleport directly into the Rhino without actually having to open the door. That's very annoying to me after doing all that. I probably should have just read up a little bit more of that, but you know what? It is what it is now. Either way, you'll, I hope you get the Rhino. <laughs> and remember, after that, the Rhino will no longer appear. So, okay, there we go. So after you obtain the Rhino, make sure you, of course, either way, uh, park it into the garage and that will be able to open up the door because even after... If you do the other thing, I'm just kind of showing you here that it is bulletproof. Um, if you do the other strategy, which hopefully y'all watch this video first to do that strategy instead of this strategy that I showed you all here, um, <laughs> you will still need to take it into the uh, garage to make it uh, unlock the doors. Because if you just uh, get out of the Rhino and Claude closes the doors uh, before putting it into your garage, then the Rhino will be once again locked. Alright, so again, just showing bulletproof, and now that we have the Rhino here, um, instead of actually saving it uh, right there in the garage, what we're going to do is actually take this back over to Portland. Because as many of you know, we have one more vehicle to drop off for the uh, emergency vehicle crane, which is the Rhino. So that is what we we're going to do with this video here, and this is the reason why I'm actually putting this as a main video in the playlist instead of just some like little extra thing at the end or whatever because this will count for our 100% completion so here we are in Portland and here we are with the emergency vehicle crane now I'm actually not going to drive off like I did with all the other ones um, I am going to go ahead and get into this and just kind of drive it up just a little bit just kind of get that going now so Again, it always takes this crane forever to drop it off. Now, I was always kind of wondering, like, where is the list for the emergency vehicle crane? I never really understood that. I'm just, uh, yeah, I just kind of was wondering. I'm just kind of waiting for it to be delivered to show, uh, you know, what it is. There we go. Trophy earned pest control. I'm sure that is for delivering all emergency vehicles to the crane in Portland. Awesome. All right, and now with that done, you can see this is how it'll look. Fire truck, ambulance, barracks, OL, Rhino, uh, FBI car, enforcer, and police, right? Yep. So there we go. Now we'll have unlimited vehicles for this. So now we can just go into the Rhino to take that back and uh, the crane will deliver the Rhino to us. I'm just kind of waiting here for the uh, Rhino to be delivered. Just like, where is it coming from? There it is. 
There we go. Now we can get any of these vehicles anytime we need. Alright. I know, it, it takes a while, okay? I'm just waiting for it. Okay, there we go. Our own personal rhino that we don't have to worry about unlocking the doors. We could, like I said, obtain it anytime, and there we go. So what I'm going to do with this now is take it all the way back to my uh, Staunton uh, safe house and park it into the garage. But of course, being very careful not to uh, bang it against the barracks OL because these uh, vehicles, the rhino at least, any little ding into any other vehicle will make it explode for sure. So, yep, anyway, so with that being done, now we'll be at 60% towards 100% completion. Uh, of course, you'll still have the 46 out of 73 missions passed, because that wasn't really a mission, it was, but it was definitely towards the percentage. So that's it for this video, everyone. Hope you all enjoyed those strategies, methods, whatever. I mean, love you all. Peace out. Till next time. Adios. All right, everyone. Well, I hope you liked that video. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Uh, if you want the next one in the series, then just click that top video right there. Or if you want some random video that YouTube put out for you, then click this bottom one right here. Uh, and of course, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And also hit that bell icon to know when a new video will be uploaded. So thank you all for watching and see you next time.